Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Control... God, this is part fucking 20. I can't believe... Uh, 20 parts, man, of this game already. Uh, you know, like... Well, I mean, I say already, but I can't believe we're at part 20, is what I mean. Uh, the last time, we finished the main game, however. So now, we are just going to be doing the foundation. So, I don't know how long this is. Uh, can't put out the director... Careful out there, director. Yeah, I get it. Um, we're gonna go talk to the board in the hotline. Um, uh, yes. Okay, let's say direct. Oh, director's office this way. I'm confused. Excuse me. Alright, so now we'll go in here. I wonder, by the way. Yeah, it's me now. I'm, I'm, my, uh... Oh, look, an HRA. Are all these things from, like, stuff that I've taken down? Is there, like, mold in that bottle? And then there's an HRA for, like, the hiss. And then there's a clock from uh, the anchor boss. Have I not noticed this? There's a black pyramid sitting on my... There's a bunch of black rock... I guess not. It just seems maybe that way. Those pillows. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay. So break all the wood again. So yeah, we're headed. Uh, we're headed for the hotline. Talk to the board. I don't know what the hell this whole DLC is going to be like. I feel darling reached out to me through the. Hotline. Situation crisis. Uh oh. <laughs> Pretend you're Moxie. Post haste. Problem in the foundation. That was Auntie's vacation spot. We yeah. Need to check this out. Could you imagine if, like, uh, you were just going about your day, and there's just this woman in a fucking suit floating around the office? Hello. Okay, so, to maintenance we go. Uh, where's the... Th Where's the spot? Oh, there it is. Foundation. I was like, where's the spot? Okay. Quiet. Transdimensional. This oh. This really suits Ati. Uh. So that pitching is the door. Okay. Let's try opening it. All right, well, here we go. I don't know how long. No time for sightseeing. Oh, God. The board said this was an emergency. Oh, boy. Well, here we go. I don't know how long this uh, DLC is going to take to last us, but. It's very dark in here. So by no so about foundation, I guess they mean like the foundation of the oldest house, like underneath it. Oh Jesus! These flickering lights. 
Uh, did that just come out of the ground? Oh boy. Crystals are kind of pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How did we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. So somebody hasn't been down here since Northmore was director. He his entire life for something like this. And we find it one week after he's buried. He always hates me. diary. Of course, father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. Hmm. Most of my feet are going to the ground. Strange. I wonder if this gets its own, like, category. Yep, ash tapes. Okay. Um, I do have stuff set in all these, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, well... There's... Research Site Delta. Or Research Site Gamma. The foundation. Who the hell? I only heard of the Foundation when I became head of operations. Oh. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid, permanent, different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stay alone. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. All right, Marshall. Bottom of the old hotel. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Unless... She's dead. Oh, Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Well, we haven't seen her for a while, so it's possible, I guess. Uh... These fuckers just hanging out in the ceiling. All right, well, what's down here?
Is there any way for me to land on the side of this? No. How do we get up here? Huh. Alright, well, I guess we'll find out maybe sometime? I don't know, maybe there's something we have to get. get anything in here. Alright, so we have this kind of area here. Seemingly something. There, but it's like above. How the, f How the fuck do you get to that shit? So this is where all the red sand comes from, I'm guessing heard about cave paintings. At first I thought the cave paintings in the foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also, it seems I was wrong to assume the images were are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests something impossible, but I've been down here longer than the paintings. That's absurd, though. The style and medium clearly indicate a Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now, with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these? Or is there someone down here with us? This place has a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted. Or perhaps some paintings were created at different times. The art just does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present and possibly even the future. I see in them the echoes of the board. Some linear architecture, even what can be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that's still being written? If so, who is writing it? Well, that's creepy. Okay, so we have two bridges here. Guys, they uh, they teleport. His sharpened. His sharpened agents display the peritotalitarian ability to rapidly move short distances. This ability is unique in the fact that they it's not associated with any known object of power. However. We should not discount the possibility that this ability is an object variation. For example, abrupt physical relocation possibly be a variant of the jukebox effect. Uh, other explanations of the His Sharpen's ability currently include momentary time manipulation, brief increase in physical speed, inhibiting the witness's sense of sight. If we do accept that the His Sharpen's ability is not connected to, an unknown, to a known object of power, either the His are manifesting unique 
paranatural abilities or there are objects in the house that we aren't aware of. Either way, the Hiss are continuing to develop new strains of corruption that is a cause for concern. Well, yeah. Especially since we've now locked them to the oldest house. Those structures. Is that the astral plane? How is that possible? This is worse than I thought. I need to figure out what's going on. I don't know anything that's going on down here. How to get to certain locations or whatever the hell. Relocation order. Tom, you missed the good news. I'm sure the official memo will go out soon, but Northmore has called on all hands in the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of this hellhole and up into the house proper. Bureau of Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem, or at least figured out a way to pinpoint where the where and when they will happen. All I know is going up means goodbye darkness, hello weird lunches with that ex-Nazi scientist, and goodbye pissing into the pit. I know that was you, Barry. Northmore's uh, ordering the foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our stuff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is long overdue. We've lost 11 men and damn near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is batty if he thinks we want to stay here and sift through more sand for him. It's just rusted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We're breeding that shit in. Crossroads. That's where we're headed. Okay. You wear the toxic geysers. Got it. There's also a room over here, apparently. Oh, and the frames are dropping significantly. Okay, so this leads through this pathway here, which I kind of want to go around. Okay. There's another one of these here, apparently. This place is weird. Okay, so we'll go through here. Foundation accident. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant? To map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docs are taking a look, uh, taking a look but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit the guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoop, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Ha Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienting than subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony, Marcus. Why is the frames drop like every time I get near one of these? Look at that. Why is it like five fucking frames per second? Jesus Christ. Ultimate edition, by the way. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the bureau. Yeah, I don't really care. I want to know why everything is weird and, like, I can't... Uh. 
They're shooting that Hiss guy. Bye bye. Astral copy. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Whether the astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by a higher intelligence such as, bo as the board remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with these entities when bi uh, Binding Eye's objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential para-utilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with Bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It is important to know that they appear immune to his corruption. Very strange. Okay, once again, there's like a cave thing up there. And, uh... I wish I'd brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. I can't get up there. Marshall? Wait, it's Jesse, the director. Yeah, I think she's a ghost. This place is like super weird. Whoa, this place is huge. Crossroads. Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. Let's get the nail. Okay, well, first of all, I can't get up here. So that's out. Ley lines. From all my research into the oldest house ley lines, I still don't understand why they why they converge here at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is they have to converge somewhere. Occam's razor and all that, but th that seems wrong. The esoteric would uh, world the esoteric world abhors coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the ley lines? Does it act as a magnet attracting them? Polar North, or is it the pr pillar a product of their focused energies, a sprout nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power? Perhaps classifying that power would provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. Given time, it may be possible to con collect and even harness this energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing in the much lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner from headquarters in DC to aid my research. I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Let's just hope Dr. Wagner is as smart as his dearly departed Fuhrer once believed him to be. Once again, another door. Alright, we have a little office here. Oh, there we go, shifting fragment. So yeah, the shifting fragments are from down here. It's been five days since we first entered It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting. But we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable. Which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol. 
placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange oh ebony my god it seems like something out of a storybook except the heroes usually find swords not handguns but it is the perfect lure for someone like him so the gun hours after finding this weapon Northmore cornered me is about some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. Oh shit. He about the title being meaningless before now, calling father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. Well, there we go. We're finding out about the origins here of, like, the board. So Northmore, he picked up the service weapon which he found on this pedestal and it connected to him like you know via the board and it be made him the director of the of the oldest house so the question is hmm. and very strange base camp This is a whole ass area down here. I kind of want to see what's down here. I mean, we can get back up here pretty easily. Just like leads, like down here, shifting fragment. It just kind of like ends right here. It's just this like big black void. Yet there's areas over here somewhere. Just like there's areas over here. This place is very strange. So like this would be the like the the uh, origins of where the board came from. does kind of make me wonder, like, what kind of things are we going to find? Like, what kind of answers are we going to find? Oh, shit. Here we go. Unacceptable behavior memo. To all Foundation personnel, it has come to my attention that members of our ex, uh, exploration teams have been given have been relieving themselves of their God-given liquids in the chasms of the Foundation. As per earlier orders, all personnel currently serving in the Foundation must expel fluid slash urinate slash do their business ex exclusively into the correctly colored and labeled vials provided by research personnel. To do otherwise disrupts the ongoing study of the Foundation and demonstrates a profound disrespect not only to, for the board and its oldest house but also for the Bureau you so proudly serve. <clears throat> if I discover firsthand any agents treating the Oblivion as their personal laboratory, they will be forced to go down there and personally clean up their mess. Signed, Director Broderick Northmore. Oof, he's gonna toss him in the pit? All right, so we have a hidden location here. Oh, shit!
Okay, there we go. Some shifting fragments. And of course a terrifying hidden location. Question is is where it's like here, but where is this area that like leads in through here apparently? There's another thing hidden in rock right here. Okay. Foundation pillar. The pillar found in the crossroads is the best uh, is best described as an onyx spike uh, that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Freud would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature, but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every being. Given its significant location. I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Trottier wrote that great architecture isn't built, it grows. Uh, but then, why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place's concrete walls and rocky caverns? It's easier to see it as an anomaly, a buried artifact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. I wonder if this pillar is any more welcome here than we are. I don't know. Touch to enter? Excuse me? You better be giving me some powers or something to explore these rooms, buddy. Repair the nail. Sling. Prevent astral consumption. Structure's duty. Plot. For a single new tool slash upgrade. Use it to save the foundation slash us slash bureau. Left, self or right weapon. Only one is permitted. Which one do you choose slash become? I thought I was done with these tests. Wait, so either I can only create things that allow me to go into areas or destroy them? Well, it makes me wonder, like, what the... what. I mean, Cause like the question is is like what would I what I mean like if I if I if I get if I get this one then I I can't get this which means I can't destroy to enter certain places but I like 
That's kind of shitty. I guess we'll go with this. Why not? Because I like I hate that I can't break through the like the rock, but okay, whatever. Oh, so it like So they grow out of certain locations, and then you you just have to like look at it. Okay, so that makes sense. And they like seem to, like crack after just a little bit. So once you like stand on them, they kind of like start to crack. So I can, like, create traps for enemies. That's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. I like that kind of aspect. I guess you really have to be, like, watching for him, though. Crystal's gonna be shaped. Yeah, I've noticed. something and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation which will destroy the oldest house the bureau and everyone inside i need to find four locks or keys or whatever to stop that from happening but i'm the director i've handled worse this should be simple ish you with me Okay, uh, that's four, that's three, that's four, maybe we should unlock the ground slam. Yeah. So oh, I have to be looking at the ground. All right. Oh, that takes away your energy like immediately. So the idea is to return to the base camp. So see, like for example. Oh yeah, here's the cave paintings. I just noticed. So like for example, this this comes out. Allows me to go over here.
Oh, I get it now. So these will come out so that allow me to go up here. path see for like so like for example I can't get through here which is kind of shitty so what am I never going to be able to do that like ever What I'm kind of hoping is that once we complete the found, like once we complete it, complete like the the DLC to the end, it'll be like here's the other power, and I'll be like, oh okay, cool. But until then, I'm kind of just like, oh, okay, so. The ritual in the warehouse. Weird. History of the Oldest House. The Oldest House has revealed much to me during my months in the Foundation, uh, but many questions remain. Primarily, the tree etchings bewilder me. What is their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime, as I've theorized, then was a tree its first form? I sent a team to Schwartzman Building in search of pre-settlement accounts of Manhattan Island. From those, I discovered a single relevant line. And there, and there I found a tree not known to me. The devil twisted within its bark. That line, taken from the fact that certain American cultures believe some trees would offer wisdom and guidance, is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence. And though I am now bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. Of course, there are numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees. Yggdrasil, the tree of knowledge. Uh, that one. Uh, ya, im, uh, yash, Imishi. I fucking know. That's, it's got all the X's. It's like Mayan or some shit. Uh, some cultures offered blood sacrifices to trees, while others claim trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's many murder, murder, murders act as sacrifice for the oldest house? Does the house have a chosen champion? Is it me? I don't think it's you. Alright, let's see this. Rituals. Thanks. Okay, I've gotten a few more like level fives. Source gained per element pickup. I'm more recovery on evade. Melee kills. <coughs> It's one of these for certain... Oh, so... Why do they have a triangle? One of them is like... Is it one of these supposed to be representing like each of the different powers or something? I have no idea. Ammo recovery and taking explosive damage. No. Uh, spin. I have one of these already. Is it this one? Accuracy? Yeah, 25. Nice. Finally. This is the rate of fire. Exclusive to spend.
Yeah, might as well just keep the damage after kills thing. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a bathroom. <laughs> the ice shower doesn't work. Pyramidic geometry. I've been going through my library researching pyramids and triangles. If that shape does, uh, does relate to the board, as Northmore says, then perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through the geometric knowledge. In, esoter uh, in esotericism, the triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and other three-part concepts. Past, present, and future. Mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board also implies multiple parts. Upright triangles in Judo-Christian imagery indicate ascent into the rational-slash-divine realm. Inverted, it signifies a descent into the corporeal-slash-human. Naturally, the ascent is masculine and the fall is feminine. Adam and Eve. That's just a bit of old-world patriarchy. Uh, now It's 1964 now, and we're all well past that silliness. <laughs> okay, are we? Considering the above... What does the inverted triangle tell us about the board? They're clearly not corporeal or human. Perhaps they wish to be, or they once were. The likeliest answer is simply the, the uh, theological imagery cannot help us to find alien entities. But still, the pyramid seems significant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. Well, if you actually look at a lot of other uh, very strange Lovecraftian stuff, um, or uh, a good example is The Void, um... Uh, a fantastic uh, movie um, that is was very much inspired by the Thing and Lovecraft uh, and everything. The Void uh, has a lot of black triangles, um, upside down black triangles, um, and you also see that in a lot of other Lovecraftian type of um, you know related uh, uh, imagery and artwork created by a lot of people who. You know, like to create stories based on that. The upside down black pyramid is very heavily related to, you know, kind of the unknown and the kind of uh, alien uh, god-like type of structure. So it's it's not uncommon that the the upside down black pyramid appears in a lot of uh, different um, mediums. Uh, you know, this game, obviously, like I mentioned, the void. There's plenty of others. Um, but it's yeah, it's interesting. Oh, it's interesting to say the least. Uh, that yeah, you know, where triangles, where everything kind of comes from when you look at it. Is this a Duro ID badge? It looks so old. Hell yeah! I definitely want to see this. I'm just picking up shit for Emily now. Okay, um... Alright. I mean, there's the music, which makes me believe that some enemies are gonna spawn. Let's go up here first, shall we? What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, thanks for coming out of nowhere. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, they caught me off guard completely. I didn't even see them coming down from the ceiling. Great, now I gotta start all the way back. Oh no, I'm actually here. Never mind, there's a there's a thing here. Never mind. Yeah, alright. Oh, I guess there are fuckers up here, aren't there?
Okay, well, instead of going up there... Uh, did I come in here already? No, I did not. What is this? Weird place to leave an ID card, but... Okay. Oh my god, am I collecting ID cards for Emily? Is that what this is? Another ID card. Jesus, there's a whole bunch of cartographer. These fucking guys, they like teleport to you. Wait a sec, hold on. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to the show. Okay, so this leads back to the crossroads somehow. Oops. I got, I got, I got, I got pretty, uh, hurt pretty good. Okay, so this is like a path that leads here, but it doesn't lead past here. I mean, there is like an area over here, but... I'm really, like, wondering how this, like, stuff gets moved, or how we're supposed to do a lot of this shit. Whereas, like, the Alan Wake thing was just kind of more of the same. This is, like, has all this, like, different shit already. Okay, so, complete the ritual in the warehouse. Not sleeping well. Oh, my God. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore found the handgun. The work was half hearted at first, I admit. But then I discovered numerous non what you want but this pillar is the crossroads i started building something equal parts talisman and technology an array that can impose order on the lay junctions that's the idea at least we'll see what i'm done huh i prefer to work away from the pillar i'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes So Ash is not doing too well, it seems, but he's wanting to, like, figure out everything. I got another level five thing, I think. Yeah, exclusive to grip. Come on, that's taking launch damage. Hmm. Well, these are, like... Okay. So 
take this up. Is that where we are? Power core storage. I put that there. Yeah, this needs a power thing, power core. Uh, after numerous attempts, I finally found a way to intercept and contain the ambient energy of the ley lines and a kind of non uh, aristillian battery I've dubbed the power core. I admit it was difficult capturing an energy I can barely measure, much less interact with. Luckily, it seems that the porous stone of the Foundation's caverns possesses such conductive qualities. Using stone flakes and copper wire, my power cores co uh, collect significant power. My early prototypes collected too much, in fact, uh, but I've since reinforced the container. We don't yet know the repercussions of tapping into this power field. As a precaution, these devices should not be taken outside of the house. Ideally, the Bureau should no longer need to rely on typical energy sources. It's my greatest feat of engineering yet. I've always had an interest in invention. I like the creativity that it allowed, set within the firm boundaries of logic and physics. Father never approved, calling it a mundane science. With that in mind, I dedicate this invention to Theodore Ash Sr. May he scowl in peace. <sighs> nice. So he's the one who created these power cores. Sorry. Sorry, what? Oh, it has no energy, right? Is that the idea? It has no energy? We need ones that only have energy? That's blinking and on? There we go. I'm like, who? Hmm? I think maybe we should take one of these with us. Just in case. I'm wondering if there's anything up here. Alright. Tunnel access. Okay, I brought that just in case I need it. Entry day plus 51. Northmore has ordered an all-hands search for objects similar to the service weapon. He claims there are more in the house, though I don't see how he's so certain. He's been strange lately, talking about joining greater causes and frequently mentioning the pyramid. After pressing him, he finally described this pyramid to me. Inverted, black, mathematically perfect. Oddly enough, Adam and the other id have shown me numerous inverted triangles painted on the cave walls. Surely there's a connection. I don't see it yet. As far as occult symbols go, triangles are by no means rare. Flood, Levi, Kroll, they used that shape like it was going out of fashion. Standing on their base, triangles signify stability and strength. Inverted on their points, they represent conflict and stagnation. Of course, the orientation is just a matter of perspective. Looking at the pyramid from below gives you one, from above, another. Northmore says he looks up at the inverted pyramid. I have to wonder, is anyone standing over it, looking down? That's a disturbing thought. But a valid thought. Okay, there's like a hallway there. Oh, 
Oh no! It fell. Okay. Well. This leads up and around here. Of course, the game drops 3 FPS. These control points are just drawn in the sand. Jesus. Very strange. Okay, can I do the upgrade yet? Oh, I need a corrupted sample. I have enough shifting fragments, but I need a corrupted sample. Can't get in there, can't get in the other one, can't go anywhere because I don't have the gun. Teleport so fast. Fuck. These guys fucking suck. They just teleport to you immediately. They just take a fucking pounding. I fucking hate these guys. Like, they just take an absolute fucking beating from the weapons. Once again, we're back to this part where we just feel like we've upgraded a ton and we're fucking completely useless. Okay, so guess we go through this tunnel. That damn gun. I've served under two directors. Three now, I suppose. Trench and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, the casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. Then he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual and mystery. After that, key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters. Past and present, but with favor. Well, there's no protocol for field promotion. The girl's smart. Has a good head on her shoulders. I'm trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs while I hold them off here. So she came down here? Shit with a nail, the board. I'm not sure she's ready. 
Besides, I work better alone. Okay, she came down here then. Oh, this is like another is another side of the warehouse. Oh, okay. Meteor Hill supplement. Uh, AWE three. Uh, event date six twenty three nineteen fifty eight in Sawyer County, Wisconsin. Meteor Hill. Uh, per archival mandates 8.a, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. The retrieved material was subjugated to Felstrom's array, configuration 74-b, but the tests were halted as the matter began to physically elude the equipment. Attempts to constrain the element were made, but under further stress, it became vaporous. The researchers suffered corrosive injuries prior to their deaths. The child victims at Meteor Hill recounted the material enveloping them in a pleasant manner upon making contact, but when discovered, they were blank and screaming. Uh, bodily changes were perceived immediately. Deformities, loss of pigment in the skin and hair, and mental symptoms surfaced in subsequent examinations. Confusion, heightened aggression. The Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions gave statements claiming the incident was caused by debris from poorly made Russian satellites, but the public accepted with no complications. The children were sent to the Bureau's recuperation facility and blank to receive help away from society. That sounds awful. Okay, so... So what am I supposed to be doing here? I'm kind of confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Because, like, it's not really giving me anything but complete the... So, <clears throat> I'm just confused as to where I'm supposed to be going. Like, I see, I've seen, um, this. Okay, so this leads to another place. Meteor Hill Summary. 
Uh, note, per archival mandates 8.a, this, if, yeah, we get it. This paradimensional occurrence consisted of three sequential sinkholes induced by subterranean implosions revealing foreign material, material of mag magmatic quantities. Or qualities. A local chapter of the Youth Science League were participating in an archaeological dig on the hill when the event occurred. Many boys were injured in the resulting collapse. Some touched the magma directly. Bureau agents survived, uh, arrived at the scene seven days after the incident. Samples of the lava-like material were taken. The area was quickly sealed off from the public of our, at our recommendation. Our aim was to ensure all remnants of the material were rendered inoffensive, but the magma descended too quickly into the earth to retrieve. Palismoning odors were detected in the area, which were hypothesized being the displaced elements vapor trail left at the scene. All acquired material was developed, uh, was delivered to Washington for examination in the Bureau's on-site laboratories. Ooh, okay. No ID cards. Security chief. Yeah, you bet a thousand dollars that the... So what am I supposed to be doing? So I want to head to tunnel the tunnel entrance apparently. Or tunnel access. Okay, so apparently there's hold on, so apparently there's another tunnel that's that's higher up that I didn't see. So yeah, from here. Ah, yes, there we go. Ah, and there's one over there, too. Okay, I get it. hard to tell when you just can't really like see all that oh, great So technically, these guys are on my side. Well, sort of. Whoa, shit. Fuck you, bud. You wanna, you wanna fucking have a melee battle? I'll melee battle you, bitch. Okay.
Okay, uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. I mean, I see that there's a... Uh, over here. Foundation etchings. My explorations of the foundation have resulted in yet another mystery. A fascinating series of etchings on lar large stone tablets. The tablets themselves are likely not native to the foundation, seeing as they're slabs of sedimentary stone, quite different from the cave's categorization defying rock. Their placement and form are also too intentional to be naturally occurring. But who braved this place to carry them in, and what, for what purpose? I discovered a five-point macro entanglement between the tablets with the pillar at its center. These links seem to extend beyond our level of consciousness to some astral realm I can't detect. Is Northmore's board somehow tied to all this? The etchings on these tablets are similarly curious. They differ from the cave paintings in style and technique, so are, not, are clearly not of the same origin. Are they the visual narration of some event? Or do they indicate in, uh, intent, a wish, a plan? They only seem to consist of a tree and the pillar, but the sizes of either are inconsistent. What does that signify? I'm missing key pieces of this puzzle, and it's unlikely I'll ever find them. It's so weird that, like... There's all these other, like, levels to this elevator. Yet it only has, like, room for four. Okay. So there's another level up here. Oh, look at that. There's like a node up here. Is there just like a bunch of nodes up here? Is that like the whole idea? This one is... In the elevator. Yeah, see, there's a power thing needed. How am I supposed to get this last one, though? hell did that do? <laughs> I 
How are you supposed to destroy this when you can't... Yeah, I can't believe I have to, like, look up all these guides. Like, I don't understand if it's, like, not super obvious. Yeah, see, it's, like, the first fucking Google search. This is never yet mind I use my brain. So, uh, I can't figure it out. Never mind. Oh, like... That. Okay. Yeah, I should have used my brain. I'm sure people are like, oh, you know, Ian, you're, you're a fucking idiot. You should have known this. Like, well... Elevator machine room. Is that where we are? Well, I guess we're going to the upper warehouse. Oh god. Oh god. This place is like so weird. It just like seems to be, it seems to be just like much bigger than it really. What the fuck? Is there something through there? Yeah, there is. Try right, fucker. I did it. I discovered the control point and the, the secret wall. Granted, there ain't shit in here. Is there? Nah. There's not. The one I used to get in here. Yeah, where does this fucking lead? Oof. Well, there's obviously going to be some kind of battle. guy so okay well that wasn't too bad but I wish I was just getting uh, ability points you know that'd be fucking nice oh god what is that it looks like the former the lock slash key the board told me about I look like the former. Yeah. So we were 
pulling pieces into place. Our nail is rebuilding. Okay. There we go, there's some ability points. Alright, so... Oh, it leads back into here. So now we have more ability points. Uh, I mean, slam damage, right? That seems like a good idea. I mean, that's a good amount of damage thus far. I mean, I still have the Shield Barrage. Shield Rush I haven't really used as much yet, but... I need to recover when Shield is active. So, like, the melee damage stuff as well. well I mean, you know, this... That's kind of like a melee... That's like kind of like a, a better melee damage, is it not? Okay, so... We have done this. We've done like the warehouse. At least from what I've seen of this place. Uh, cave system. Crossroads. All right. Well, I think what we'll leave it off for this part. And then when we come back uh, on the next part, we will... I guess we'll, I guess the idea is the base camp is that one over there. So we need to uh, navigate our way through there. Yeah. Since now we have like the warehouse. I mean, there's still like areas down there that there's like secrets and shit, but I can't get those yet. So, all right. Well, uh, take care, everybody. And I'll see you. Oh, look at that. We have some agents down here. How nice. Hello, agents. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Oh, look, there's Emily over there, too. We'll talk to her next time as well.